Well, some of you might know that we've had a little data hiccup and uh, unfortunately we've lost a bit of footage for the upcoming Untie the Lines episodes. We could recover a little bit, but not all of it. So I'm just going to give you a little talk through of what you're missing out on so it all makes sense chronologically. Well, you remember that Kyle was up on the hard and uh, we were fixing his belly, welding some stuff and we had a little fight with the rudder. <laughs> went back into the water and splashed, everything was holding up. Uh, we realized that we had made a mistake with the rudder, so you're missing out on some fun footage, where we had to take the rudder out again, floating, and uh, I had to build a little net below everything, not to lose all the bolts and screws inside the water, and um, it was quite the adventure. Plus, we had forgotten half a ton of lead in yard, so <laughs> we had to put all of those into a carriage and uh, move it over to Carl, who we had to put on the dock for that. <laughs> so that was quite a bit of fun. And also you missed a very good statement from Manny saying that his favorite job in Yard was actually cutting loose those crazy lead bars, which I know it's unbelievable, but that's what he said. For my boy Yacht Club, we did a little uh, trial run to make sure that everything was holding up and also to give Manny a little bit of a vacation because obviously you didn't come just for really annoying yard work, but actually you came to go sailing with Carl a little bit. So we sailed from Balboa to Taboga and from Taboga we went over to the Pearl Islands to Contadora and we went through a massive, massive storm. <laughs> it was, uh, I was just taking a nap and it was just rolling on like behind us. It was really, it was a beautiful storm. Like the clouds looked amazing and it was blowing, yeah, up in the forties. So it was gusting up in the forties, mid forties. It was quite the ride, um, but it was a good test for the boat. You know, everything was holding up still after the stress on the rig and hull and everything. So that was good. We had a uh, good time on the Pearl Islands and uh, we were doing a little bit of island hopping and then it was time again to go back to Panama City and drop Manny off because his vacations were already over and that's where the last footage is over and we're going back to normal episodes. my windows are getting a little bit bad and that there's quite a bit of gorilla tape involved to keep them together. This is probably one of the last big projects on the Carl to-do list to get him ready for the big ocean so I decided to take off the old uh, windows in the cockpit and get some fresh ones. It's called uh, Monty Plastic, and um, brought my little windows with me to see if I can make the same. And it looks like you have a lot of stuff here. Una pieza cada uno. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Solamente una vez. No son dos o algo. No, no, sí, sí, sí. Eso. Los que hay son los que necesito. And I learned a, no a new vocabulary. Biselado means that it has an edge because the windows are not like just plain cut, but they have this little edge that they have. So in Spanish, biselado. Alrighty, so new windows just for the Dodger. 481.50. Lexa. Like Spencer. So this is the material. Alone. So I still have to do all the holes and stuff. 
So it's gonna be tricky. It's 480 bucks just for the Dodger. So if I think about doing all the windows here. between 15 and upper 20s for the last two, two and a half days. So it's a bit rough in the Anchorage, um, but yeah, wind is coming pretty much south, southeast, so that's not so good for going south. So we're waiting for this weather to pass before we head down to uh, Vista Mar to drop off Maria. Joanna ready because possibly they're gonna come with us to Ecuador. <laughs> so that's about it. Hanging out in Panama City and uh, waiting for weather. in Panama City to San Carlos. We're gonna make a little stop in Bona. It's been super windy the last days and today it's a little less windy. It's completely headwind so we chose to take these two days to um, head down south because they're not as violent as the, <laughs> the last days and the upcoming days so but it's still quite beating into it and I think I might have talked Maria into coming to Ecuador with me so couple of things on Joanna that we need to fix and a couple of things still on Carl that need to be fixed and then off we go to a new country finally yay but because um, that means I will be single-handing again shortly I need to fix my autopilot so I'm gonna do that now so this guy it just fits through by itself, so I'm gonna make sure I place the second one somewhere up here so they can go in after each other, one another. My autopilot needed a new plug, which was not such a big deal, but also the compass had frozen, so I had to harvest my spare autopilot and to swap the compass unit, which luckily did the deal. Well, 
it's another 20 miles back to Vista Mar Marina in San Carlos and then it's time to get our boats ready to head south. But more about that next week. Thank you.